What's going on? It's Raf here, and we are in the room with my man Jake. What's going on? What's up? What's up? How are we doing? Dude, good. We were just talking about it right before we got on here on uh, the interview that um, holding the mic, because yes. I'm usually left-handed, but right. I'm like holding this right hand, and I'm like, it's kind of weird. <laughs> right. No, it feels a little weird when I perform. Sometimes I, I switch back and forth. I don't know really which one I go to more. Probably you my right. You don't think right. about it. You just yeah. do it. So just when you're do performing, it. Yeah. you're like, whatever. For sure. Uh, dude, congrats on all your success. Thank you. So far, I mean, it's been a ride since... I mean, the dawn of TikTok and when it became popular and you making videos. Talk about like how you just kind of like just started doing videos and then how did that like bloom into this? Yeah, it's crazy. So during lockdown, I didn't have too much to do. And I always had this idea of if I made a beat, my mom's actually a music teacher. So she's very okay, yeah. musically competent. I was like, I'll make a beat and I'll have my mom just come in and fake like she made it on the spot. And so I started doing that and it went completely crazy right. viral and um from there i was like you know what i'm gonna just put my vocals on one of these and the song blew up it was called upside down and so that's right. how i really got into dropping music uh but i was writing songs for a long time before that oh that's awesome and i know um i saw i think one of your vid videos you were showing your music teacher the success you've had and yes like, kind of just started playing for her yeah that went viral too yes um, what your music teacher is probably so proud of you too like, yeah it's it's so cool to be able to do stuff like that yeah. you know there's so many people who uh, I looked up to and, and really inspired me to to do what I'm doing. Yeah, definitely. And then, uh, you know, Golden Hour, of course, top 10 yeah. Billboard charts. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, man. How, how did that feel finding out? Where did you find out? What was the um, moment? So I was I was on the plane headed here for, for my show right. and, um, yeah, somehow got some Wi-Fi and, and saw <laughs> it. And it's the craziest yeah. thing to see my name uh, up there with all those other names. Like, that was the craziest part to me. Um, you know, now, like, not too much things, like, shock me, but that one, just, like, seeing all those people i look up to all of them and so yeah. it's insane dude i've seen your instagram like you're meeting up with all these big artists you know producers martin garrix and mm -hmm. things like that like how do you feel like f meeting them and sharing your artistry with them and now like oh they want to work with you or maybe they want to do stuff with you how does that all feel inside of you right now yeah like, i mean it's it's so sick there's there's so many people i remember you know just writing and producing for a long time i wanted to work with a lot of these people never expected that i'd work with them you know being an artist and right. so um i was just planning on songwriting and producing but you know now just to to be able to meet these people they're always more amazing in person than you'd you'd expect who, who do you who was your or who was your music like inspiration and who's your like the coolest person you met so far like yeah for sure i mean it was crazy um as the story goes yeah. right when i dropped upside down um it, it started to really go crazy and then um charlie puth who i've looked up yeah. to for a long time he dropped a remix um and we got to meet and make some tiktoks and yeah he's he's the dopest guy ever and so yeah that was that was a sick moment i know a lot of uh, artists too like are dropping like verses in your like, golden hour or whatever yeah uh, yep. i was at tori kelly did one recently yes. i saw that insane that was pretty cool yeah. um um, dude, man, you're doing all this stuff. Now, you did the two shows in New York and L.A. You, we, we saw your show in L.A. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Sold out, by the way. Yeah, crazy. Uh, you said, like, if everyone sold out the shows, you would do more tour dates. Like, have you picked, like, cities yet? Have you done, like, the yeah. list? Are you going to drop the list soon? What's so, the, yeah. I, I'm a man of my word. Uh -huh. I'm going to I'm gonna make it happen. Um, yeah, we'll we'll see when, when the announcement comes, but just stay tuned, stay I guess. Stay tuned. Of course, people are going to be following you on socials. For sure. Finding out every little moment. Um, so, we got to talk about Golden Hour a little bit. People were asking you questions like what is golden hour like people don't know that like yeah especially in california i feel like if someone asked that you'd look at look, look at them for with sure. five heads for You're sure like, yeah people like what kind of questions do you get usually like yeah weird ones like do you get yeah weird ones for or? sure there was there was a few people who who didn't know what golden hour was i'm like yeah yeah it's just you know like around 5 6 p.m where the sun is just perfectly right. it turns everything gold it's golden hour um another School one is them. that i get a lot is uh how tall are you are you're so tall oh my goodness and then i mean you ask. are tall yeah you are sure. tall. what are you uh, what's your height? six foot seven with shoes on so <laughs> with shoes on <laughs> yeah did you ever think about playing sports like did you play sports i did and i actually quit my high school basketball team to uh make music more often um so that was kind of the way it went and i still play for fun here and there yeah for sure you, where were you center you were yeah they, they <laughs> wanted me at center but i'm a i'm a point guard at point heart guard. <laughs> Okay, there we go. That's awesome, man. But I mean, you got to follow your dreams, right? The For music. Sure. Uh, who do you want to do a collaboration with? Like, who are you looking you know, forward to working with? Maybe shout them out on social media. Yeah, go no. Viral. You know, it's crazy. I, I just started to kind of realize this, but like, you know, I'm from Rhode Island and right. I'm a big fan of Newport. And um, yeah, I, I just haven't even thought that I, she's even reachable. She probably isn't, but uh, Taylor Swift is, it literally lives like, like 30 minutes from me. So 
Um, oh, I definitely she got gotta, gotta reach out, <laughs> but um, yeah, that would be so sick. Such a huge fan. Taylor Swift. There you go, man. Um, we got to talk about iHeartRadio Music Awards real quick because you are currently in the lead. Social so Star crazy. Award. So I mean, crazy. you're beating the likes of like Charlie D'Amelio. Like, how does that feel? <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's crazy. I feel for me, like, you know, this is just a moment of celebration, you know, for everybody around me and on my team. And just for me, you know, I'm, I'm really blessed to be here and just to have the support of everybody. You know, it's it's a it's a dream come true. And so it's awesome. And if you haven't voted for, uh, you know, Jake yet, iHeartRadio.com slash awards, March 27th on Fox. Okay. Hey, uh, man, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Good luck to you. 2023 is going to be huge for you. You're expecting big things. You're yes, expecting, absolutely. You know, album. More, like, more music, more music. music. Yes. More music, more shows. Yes. Jake, more TikToks. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, appreciate you hanging out here. Thanks yeah, for stopping by. Thanks for man. having me. Yeah.